I'm here to give you the top five tips for buying catamarans. Tip number one, use seasonal price trends. You know, the price of boats and yachts follows seasonal price trends, just like commodities. So for example, heating oil, it goes up in the winter and down in the summer because everybody needs it in the winter and nobody wants it in the summer. So you have price variations throughout the year. And in yachts, you have the same thing. So <clears throat> if you're talking about catamarans like this one behind me, these mostly live in the Caribbean and are used in the Caribbean high season, which is December 1st until May 15th. And so the buying activity mostly takes place from August 20th until December 15th. So you want to beat the rush. You want to try and get in there around July and early August before you're competing with other buyers. And on a two, three hundred thousand dollar boat, you can easily save twenty to forty thousand dollars. That's my tip number one. Tip number two: use locational price variations. In with these sort of boats, there are more of them in St. Martin. Tortola, Martinique, Guadalupe than anywhere else and there are less buyers there than say in America or in the Pacific Northwest. So you want to try and buy down there and just because of the locational discounts you can save fifteen twenty thousand dollars. Okay tip number three know the actual selling prices. I have this database called soulboats.com that is only available to professionals like me who pay a lot of money, $600 a month, for this database. And I can tell you the actual selling prices of all boats since 1998. And I can print specialized reports. So if you come to me and you say, well, I want to know the prices of all Leopard 42s ever or in the last two years, just tell me that. I can print a specialized report. We have every boat that was sold, all the details, pictures, specs, everything. That's the smart way to know what the market's really doing. Tip number four, some of the best values are five-year-old charter boats that have a full refit guarantee. So for example, I just sold a 2005 Lagoon 410 for $185,000 and the seller, which was a major charter company, agreed to fix every defect noted at survey by the surveyor. And that was worth about $25,000 in repairs. So these kind of boats can be really good deals. Tip number five, use mini surveys and first option strategies. What I'm talking about is if you find a boat that looks like a really good deal, a lot of times we'll see 15, 20 people looking at that boat. So you might say, well, you know, I want to see it first. I want to fly down there and, you know, Typically, to get the best deals with airlines, it takes two weeks to get the best price. And by the time you get down there, that boat can be sold. So use a first option strategy. I can show you how to gain a first option on the boat. And we can also have surveyors look at the boat for about $150 to $200 or euros. They'll go to the boat. They'll write a report. They'll spend a couple hours write up all the defects that they see and you'll know if it's in the ballpark. So these are the smart ways to buy boats. I've been doing this for 24 years and I think this is the best way to save money and buy right, buy smart. Uh, by the way, this boat behind me, this Lagoon 440, is one of my favorite models of all times. It has a flying bridge steering station, which is awesome because you can see further out you're underway you can also it's a great place to have morning coffee or sunset cocktails it also frees up more space in the cockpit uh, I like these vertical windows with eyebrows because in the middle of the day when the Sun is the hottest you they, it keeps the salon 15 degrees cooler I really like these boats anyhow those are my tips for today I'll talk to you later